Hello, and welcome to Attachments in Confluence. Today, we're going to be going over what attachments are, how they're stored, how we can add them and remove them, and how we move them around. So what are attachments? Attachments are any file, it's a document type, PDF, PowerPoint, etc. that are appended to a page. And how are they stored on the pages? So think of each page in Confluence having a front and a back side. The front side displays the links to the attachments that exist on the back side of the page. The reason this exists is because it allows for version storage of each attachment and it allows for indexing in the search function. So to add a, an attachment to a Confluence page, there are a few different ways we can do this. The first one, we can edit the page, drag and drop the attachment from our desktop, update the page or publish it, and it will display. So this is the page we're going to add an attachment to. We'll edit. Make sure our cursor is down on the page. We'll drag and drop the document on. And there it is displaying as a preview. I'm going to go ahead and show as a link. So I'm just left clicking on it and selecting show as link. And I'll update. Remember, this is the front of the page. To see the back side of this page, we'll go to the ellipse at the top right and select attachments. Now this is where the actual attachments exist. And here, if we select this drop down, we can also see different versions. I'm gonna go back and view the page from the front side and add a second version of this attachment so we can see what version control looks like. I'm going to edit the page again. And let's say there was changes made to this document, but the name is exactly the same. I can select this text pointer, delete it, and drag in a new version. I'm gonna show his link again and update the page. Now, if we go back and look at the back side of the page where the attachments actually exist, we'll see that there are two versions here. If we want to delete the attachment from the page, we can do this from the back side of the page. We can delete the whole thing by selecting delete, or we can delete a specific version by selecting the appropriate delete button. Another way that we can add attachments to a page is we can edit the page and go to the Insert Files and Images selection and then Update. So we'll edit, go to the Insert Files and Images function, find the file, and insert. There it shows up and we'll update. The last way that we can do this is using the attachments macro. The attachments macro is a way that you can see versions from the front side of the page instead of having to go to the back side. It displays the versions and you don't need to edit to see them. It's kind of similar to a file repository in that you can just drag and drop onto the page without having to edit. So to add an attachments macro to this page, let's edit the page and we'll type the left curly bracket, which is a shortcut to insert a macro, and we'll begin typing attachments. Select this and update. Now, as you can see, this looks like the back side of the page in that I can see the versions. And if I want to add a new version, I don't have to edit the page. I can simply drag and drop. It will upload, reload the page, and my version 3 will display. To move attachments around on a page, you can move the link by highlighting it and manipulating it like a text in a Word document. 
So I'm going to edit the page here. I'm going to select this link that exists on the front of the page. I'm just going to cut it using Control X and I'll move it down here and paste. Keep in mind, if the link exists in the macro, you will not be able to move this around. I'll edit the page here and show you where the macro exists. This is where the links will show up. So if I want to move this around the page, I can simply click and drag and then update. That's the basics of attachments. Thanks for watching.